Let's try an example to check for the buckling resistance of a member. A circular hollow section member is to be used as an internal column in a multi-story building. The column are pin boundary conditions at each end and the inter-story height is 4 meter. The critical combination of the actions result in the design asia force of 1630 kN and assess the suitability of the provided circular hollow sections of 244.5 times 10 in the grid of 275. The question here mentioned about internal column. That means the member is subjected to pure air And it is mentioned that the pin boundary conditions at each ends that means both ends are pins and your LCR should be equals to 1.0 L. The sections is circular hollow sections 244.5 times 10 and the effective length is 4 meter and the axial load is 1630 kN. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to determine the section property. Obtain the property of the members from the table of section property. From there, you will know the thickness of the member, which is 10 mm. To determine the yield strength of the member, first you need to know the steel grade. Check the thickness of the member less than 40 mm. Then you will know that the yield strength is 275. Substitute the Fy into the equations, you get your epsilon equals to 0 0.924. Next, you determine the section classifications. As the member is circular hollow sections, we are referring to table 5.2 sheet 3, which is this. The limit for the class 1 to class 3 are given here, and it is in the functions of the epsilon square. Acquire the actual D per T ratio by dividing the D and the T, you get 24.5. Check against the limits of the class. For class 1 is 50 epsilon square, then you are getting 42.7. You find that the D per T ratio is less than the limit for the class 1. Therefore, the entire section is considered as class 1. Next, you check for the compression resistance without any reductions. It is in the function of the area times the Fy divided by a factor of safety. Substitute the relevant value, you will get 2026.8 kN. Compared with the um, Asia load, you found that the resistance is greater than the Asia loads. This makes the ratios to be equal to 0 0.8, which is less than 1.0. Therefore, the compression resistance of the member is acceptable. Next, you need to check for the slenderness ratio. There are two equations for you to determine the slenderness. It is either by using these equations or using this equation. Both is applicable and they should give you the same result. You may choose to use either one of it which you feel is suitable for you. And it is found that the slenderness ratio lambda prime is equal to 0 0.56 which is more than 0 0.2. With that, you know that buckling is going to occur and the Asia resistance there will be reductions. So, your next step is to determine the percentage of reductions of the Asia resistance, which is represented by the ratio chi. To obtain the chi, first you need to know the 
equations for the phi and to obtain the phi you need to obtain the imperfection factors from table 6.2 and for the circular hollow sections and it is hot row and your grade is less than 460 then your buckling curve it will be A referring to table 6.1 Buckling curve A should give you alpha equals to 0.21. Therefore, your imperfection factors for the sections it will be equals to 0.21. Substitute the value into the equation for phi and then substitute the slenderness ratio into the equation as well. You obtain the phi equals to 0.69 bring the number into the chi equations together with the slenderness you will get your chi equals to 0 0.91 that means there will be a reduction of 9% of the Asia loops multiply 0 0.91 to the full capacity of the Asia loops you will obtain the reduced Asia loops to be 1844.3 the load is 88% of the resistance of the member. Therefore, the member is considered acceptable.